Hi, I'm Josh Abrams. Um, welcome to Code and Courage. In this channel, I'll be sharing my knowledge and experience of nearly 20 years in the IT field, uh, my personal life, journey, um, inventions, and other topics that you can see in my playlist that are available. Um, <clears throat> I'll talk about philosophies and insights, uh, some law and um, just innovations, app ideas, perspectives on how to improve various aspects of our lives in general. Um, I'm not really doing this for recognition or profit, likes, subscribes, or anything. Um, I was hoping to create a community dedicated to making positive impact on the world. Um, a little bit about me is I grew up in New Jersey. Um, I was a ward of court at 14 and was in a group home until I aged out homeless at 18. Uh, I've had many challenges, both legal, ethical, uh, family, and mental health related that I think could help my experience. My experiences could help others in their lives. Um, I uh, ultimately did go to school, uh, trade school for networking and security. I eventually went back years later and got an associate's degree, studied um, computer science, mathematics, physics, uh, philosophy, uh, and I, um, I've been working my whole life uh, trying to make things right, make things better. Um, I have a history of standing up for myself and then facing immeasurable consequences for that. Um, I feel like some of the nuanced views of having been um, on multiple journeys in terms of living, you know, couch to couch to making good money as a uh, system engineer um, today. <clears throat> um, I have about three or five years of uh, computer programming um, and development experience where I've developed apps and programs and uh, combine that with my nearly 20 years of hardware and technical support um, I'm able to research, fix, and understand technology and then create with it like not many others would. <clears throat> In addition to that, I've um, experienced many legal uh, battles. Um, in my youth, they were criminal charges <clears throat> for like marijuana that have now since been expunged, but significantly impacted my ability to work or find employment for many years because of that. <clears throat> um, today, I am nearly 10 years of having pro se legal experience where um, it started in 2012, I had an employer um, do something that harmed me, and I ultimately took them to civil court and won a settlement out of court. Since then, I've filed many other civil suits and am undefeated as I, as I, as I'm concerned, having accepted settlement in my terms, I consider that a victory. Um, I actually currently have <clears throat> uh, three pending suits and three different Supreme Courts, um, where I'm the plaintiff and seeking damages, uh, <clears throat> and in the past, uh, or in between now, with my three active suits and 
my first suit in 2012. There was also about three or four other suits that I had won um, previously. <clears throat> uh, I'm gonna talk about them in this channel here. I wanna share some of my experience, uh, even if I'm limited to not give exact details. I, I feel like just some of the core overviews of some of the legal process and how the dynamics of power work <clears throat> within them, um, and then my experiences with criminal law and um, advocating for other changes with um, apps and other software I'm trying to develop that I think could change uh, the political atmosphere as well to bring knowledge and um, facts and understanding and nuance to the voting systems that we have, uh, which I'm happy to explore in one of my other invention I, uh, videos that I'll be adding shortly. <clears throat> uh, yeah, so that's that's pretty much me. Um, I have, in the mental health, I guess I'll add that before I end this video. Um, having gone through uh, homelessness and abandonment, uh, from my parents and ending up in a group home at an early age uh, gave me some abandonment issues, uh, an anxiety disorder, a panic disorder without agoraphobia, various levels of depression or bipolar depression um, over the years that I took SSRIs and antipsychotics and all sorts of other sleeping pills and other things, um, not really understanding what was going on or why and not I'll definitely expand on this later but I to summarize a lot of these drugs that they try and give you like Xanaxes and um, SSRIs are never truly meant to be long-term permanent solutions they're supposed to be like a short-term thing to help you cope or get to the next st stage of help and I didn't understand that and maybe just a victim of the pol not political uh, pharmaceutical companies just trying to peddle their drugs and get paid for moving as many of them as they can um, I currently do not take any medication I've uh, worked with doctors and psychiatrists my entire life and in 2017 uh, I got approved for medical marijuana in New Jersey where the doctor helped me find alternative medicine um, to help deal with my stress and anxiety and after trying many different combinations and therapists and doctors over the years I'm, I'm actually very happy to say I, I don't need medication anymore um, I am not psychotic I don't have schizophrenia or any severe mental illness I just was trying many drugs over the years if you um, if you're questioning the antipsychotic that I um, tried for a brief period of time. <clears throat> um, I was just desperate to feel better, not understanding the root of my depression and um, my coping skills around them. So I look forward to expanding upon those concepts and going over my inventions and ideas. And uh, yeah, I hope you can enjoy.